Hello my ladies and leaflets, I have no idea what I'm doing and welcome back to Minecraft. So today we're going to be testing a new thing that I want to try out. Can you beat Minecraft as a pacifist? This idea was inspired to me by Dark Viper AU's Can You Beat GTA 5 as a pacifist series, so here we go. There's not really going to be a point to crafting a sword if I'm going to be a pacifist, so... No swords, I guess? Wait, I just realized, how am I going to kill the Ender Dragon? Hmm, I'll figure that out later on in the, in the series. You know, I'd just like to take this moment to thank everyone in my community, because I hit a thousand followers on TikTok, we're almost at... Uh, 80 subscribers on this YouTube channel and I'm so happy. I'm so glad that people on YouTube and on TikTok really enjoy my content and I'm glad that at least they made hopefully made someone's day better and my main goal is to hopefully make someone's like let's say they're having a bad day. I really hope I could just make someone's day better with my content. I mean I don't always put a lot of memes in my content but it means the world to me that you guys really like enjoy my content and it really pushes me to keep going so thank you guys so much for all the support and <laughs> I'm welcome to suggestions I mean I've been I've always wanted to interact with the community <laughs> and I'm so glad that I can with you awesome people and honestly um I learned to like, appreciate my community by watching Jacksepticeye for many years. Um, he really appreciates his community, and I really appreciate mine. And <laughs> I'm about to tear up, honestly. I don't usually, like, keep emotional parts in my videos, but this is a heart-to-heart -heart for my community. And, yeah, I just, I really appreciate all the support. Like, I really do. You know what I'm just now realizing? I can't kill animals for food because it's pacifist. Killing animals counts as me killing people uh, like yeah. Can't speak English. I cannot kill animals for food because this is pacifist, which sucks. Oof. I swear every single YouTuber when it comes to these challenges always say this iconic line. This is way more difficult than I thought. Those are my thoughts right now. <laughs> I'm hiding underground, by the way. <laughs> well, I have shears now, so now I can, like, get wool from sheep without killing them, so... Already, good sign. Too bad I didn't get these shears earlier, because now it's nighttime. Gosh darn it. I'm sorry guys, I can't say the iconic new channel meme. Nothing like waking up in the morning morning and getting salmonella in this in this mi mini Minecraft series because well, I'm not going to be killing any animals, so no salmonella. So, yay. <laughs> what what am I talking about anymore in my videos? I don't know at this point. All right, so I sheared some sheep Here's the first one that I sheared, and here there is the other one that I sheared. I just wanted to show you guys that I sheared them and not killed them, because some people in the comments will be like, But some sheep die and don't drop mutton soup. I'm probably gonna starve to death, because I can't really kill animals to get their meat. Or get salmonella. <laughs> but, yeah, th that might be a problem. I don't really have any food. At all. Can't find any, like, apples on trees or anything. So I just died multiple times to that zombie over there. This, this, this challenge is torture. Honestly. Just to show you guys that I didn't kill that zombie, it burned up in the, um, the, the sun. Not the zombie over there with the chainmail helmet. He's still alive, but a zombie just burned up. Yeah, and I'm really far away from it, and I couldn't reach it from here, so... Again, people in the comments are probably gonna be like, You probably killed it and then backed up! I'm using my shield to deflect skeleton arrows. I don't... 
That doesn't count as me killing it, I don't think. I'm not going to count it. If it if it dies from my shield deflecting its arrows, that's not me killing it. I'm not physically hurting it to make it die. So get wrecked, people, in the comments. Get wrecked, skeleton. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 what you doing? Don't you dare be typing that comment. I didn't physically kill it. My shield deflected its own arrows back at it. So technically, it was shooting at itself. If you think about it, big brain. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Here we go again with the, sh the skeleton arrow deflecting. Ow. Get out of here with your arrows, sir. You can't aim. You're a stormtrooper. Get wrecked. Oh, it dropped its bow. Not, not like this is a pacifist run and I can't use it. Oof. Well, I'm starving to death. Luckily, I placed my bed and did this. So that way, if I die, I respawn here. So, I'm good. You know, I'm very smart. Um, very big brain moment. I stacked all the way up since I got all the way down to half a heart. Since I was starving to death. I jumped up and died. And I died. Instead of mining my bed and risking dying and going all the way back to the spawn point and losing all my stuff. Pretty big brain. Basically, I, I killed myself, but I set my spawn point here, so that way, if I die... Oh, I, my brain is not working. Basically, let me try again. From, this, from the top, from the top. Basically, I, I placed my bed, tapped on it, stacked up, I was at half a heart, jumped to my death, and then I respawned with a full hunger bar, so that way I don't risk getting hit by a mob and then going all the way back to the spawn point and risking all my stuff to despawn. I'll see you on the next one.